all right guys so we're back we're back here for episode number two and yeah we got a lot of changes to actually make you guys already know we had a lot of plans for this episode i asked what you guys thought about some of the potential trades and one of the names brought up was kevin porter jr on the cleveland cavaliers unfortunately real life happened because now kevin porter jr is a member of the houston rockets man yo houston stole kevin porter we was gonna trade that second round pick man we were not able to pick him up which really really sucks for us but anyways guys the plan for this video is for us to play this game versus the new york knicks because i want to get some gameplay in and the knicks have been on a roll with emmanuel quickly rj barrett julius Randle looks like an all-star They've been going crazy. But guys, if you guys want to see episode number three, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Let's get 190 likes for episode number three. And in that episode, we're going to be simming to the middle of this season where we can hopefully, you know, start looking at some players that we need to focus on for this coming off season. Obviously, this includes a draft and free agency. This first season is to go by very, very fast because the Spurs are not making that many moves. But looking at it, guys, obviously, DeJounte Murray, Lonnie Walker, Calden, we got a lot of solid players on this team, and we got a lot of decisions to actually make. Somebody asked me about Derek White, and I got to be honest. If I was to trade one of them, it more than likely would be Derek White because he's 26 and he does not really fit our timeline like that. But we have some decisions to make about next season if we want to bring back DeMar DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge. Let me know y'all's thoughts and y'all's opinions in the comment section below. But other than that, man, we got the New York Knicks. The Knicks, I want to drop off the Knicks so bad. <laughs> so, so bad. So let's get straight into this game. And yeah, guys, just thanks for showing so much support on this series, man. A lot more heat, a lot more content coming. If you guys missed my fastest rebuild ever, check out that video. It was like 50 seconds long. And it's legitimately the fastest rebuild you'll possibly ever see in your entire lifetime. And we can get straight into it. Because I got a lot of plans for this team. I want to get them back to being that dynasty that never missed the playoffs again. And, you know, uh, that was one of the things that I mentioned. And, and I saw so many comments on was like, San Antonio would never tank intentionally. And I, I straight up believe that. San Antonio would never tank intentionally. Knock that down. Let's go, Lonnie. Good three from Lonnie Walker. But yeah, San Antonio would never tank intentionally. But I do think that this team in real life, even though they're they're off to a really good start, I don't know if they keep it up. And uh, I see them finishing may, like somewhere in the lottery for sure. That's just what I'm thinking, man. So let me know what, what you guys think. Obviously, in this year's draft, I want a guy like Evan Mobley. I think he'd be perfect for, for this team. Him or Katie Cunningham. Those are my two prospects. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And let's get into this gameplay. Right now, we're a 5-2 lockup bait, man. I don't know why quickly is not in the game. But, yo, that's that 2K logic. Go through the screen. Go through the screen. Why is he open for the three? Good thing he can't shoot. Good thing he can't shoot. Come on. Lock it up. I like having DeJounte Murray, man. He, he's on such a good deal. Murray's deal is he's on one of the best contracts in the NBA, and I think that we can get him to being at or near an all-star in this league. It just depends on what actually happens, but as I said in the first episode, I want to make that man a spur for life, but let's just see how we can actually get things going. Yo, having DeMar at power forward is so weird to me because he's like 6'6". Six, six. It's such a weird thing. Like, it really is. All right, let's go right to the right with DeJounte Murray. Give me that. Give me that. I'll take it every single day of the week. Let's go. But yeah, having him at, at power forward is so weird because obviously he can get bodied in the paint, but he has such of an athletic advantage. So that's something that we could use to our advantage. Like example, on this play right here, pick and roll should be fire with him every single time where like we can be throwing up oops, all that because he's just so athletic and you know, no power forward can really hold him off the dribble. Maybe Giannis. Giannis is the only one actually. Because nobody else that I can think of really can. Keldon has zero points, which is mad weird, but it's probably his tendencies. But Lonnie Walk is playing all right. Everyone is playing all right. I just feel like on this team right now, we have no guys that are actually it. Like, we have really good guys that, like, can be second, third options. We just are missing that guy. Like, a number, like, a true number one option. And I know that Spurs fans will probably be like, oh, well, Keldon this or, like, something like that but realistically not really i'm gonna take that three with him i wish it went in we don't got that guy for a championship team i think that we got a lot of good role players or or maybe devin turns into that guy but that's something that we just gotta wait for and see 
maybe we can get it in this coming draft or we can find it somewhere with a realistic move in free agency we'll figure it out because i think that this series right oh my gosh that move almost works you might have to pull Keldon. he's so cold i see you lonnie cut to the basket with lamarcus why did he not dunk that why did he not dunk that <laughs> yo i'm actually considering keeping lamarcus aldridge on this team if he wants a cheaper deal i'm not paying him like 24 million dollars or what he actually wants but it, it, if you take like like 10 million on like a one-year deal i keep him around because i think that's something that, that that san antonio would consider doing i don't think that san antonio would be opposed to making that move and plus he could be a really good mentor if we pick up another big in this coming draft so i, I kind of like that idea but he has to take less money he definitely has to take less money as far as demar Rosen, if demar wanted to stay here i'm more inclined to believe that san antonio would pay him whatever they wanted to it seems like they really rock with players especially players that have been there for like a few seasons they more times over they always pay them unless we're trading him back to somewhere in los angeles i don't see any way he's not on this team next season and honestly i wouldn't mind it he's a really good overall and he's very productive i just don't want to sign him to like to like a five-year deal like that's the only part that i don't really like there demar has 14 four and three he's actually been playing really really good and i kind of like him on this team like whenever i first started i initially thought that yo i'm probably gonna be trading him but seeing how how the spurs would never tank i might just keep him on this team unless he wants to get moved that is then a blocking foul barry low-key lowered his shoulder bruh but whatever man lonnie's kind of struggling a lot he only has two points and what type of shooting percentages is is he going to have demar's playing really good devin has seven points Keldon is one for four yeah that's something that we definitely got to work on and we definitely got to fix that as well let's lock everything up but right now we got a pretty good lead let's just not choke this thing away oh they they got us with the late foul it's, it's all right though it's all right though i think that San Antonio, after a few seasons we could definitely make this team legit but like i think that we could put together a competitive team every single season to at least do something and right now we are just we're kind of bad we're, we're kind of bad and that that kind of gets back to my point is like we have a lot of solid players here but nothing to really hang your hat on as being necessarily untouchable that that's just what i currently think as far as this team goes how does rudy gay have 13 and 6 off the bench for us i mean like i get that rudy gay is really solid and really underrated but i don't know i don't know this team is really small though other than like lamarcus this team is small because rudy gay is a small forward damar is low-key a small forward as well this team is really small man get him jumping i'll take what De De demar really can't make that shot there are still so many challenges this team and that's why i think that san antonio is a really hard rebuild especially if you're doing it realistically because of course you, you can just sign a bunch of players and make any team good but considering how san antonio has historically done things and the way that we got to do things because of how they normally do it's gonna make this so much more harder but, but finishing off this game demar had 24 points to at 13 points lenny had 13 points rudy gay had 13 and 7 Patty Mills was perfect from the field. And we just had have a lot of holes. Julius Reno had 35 and 16, y'all. Yeah, we got a lot of holes on this team that I think that we actually need to work on. And I really want to hear y'all's thoughts and y'all's opinions on this team and how things should actually be constructed because we have so much young talent, but they're not even getting minutes. And I honestly want y'all's help on what we should do with this team. They want to start Derek White, which means guys like Lonnie Walker, guys like devin get put all the way to the bottom of the bench and trey jones don't even get to play trey jones has more potential than majority of these players but considering how san antonio normally does things it it just adds another level of difficulty so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below a lot of choices for this team needs to be made and we're gonna be discussing more of it in the next episode so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like it up. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, y'all.